All right, so we met at MWC. We, we did. The uh, desktop sync was coming. Uh, we have some other cool features in Doxygo 3. So we were a little bit farther along the equation, and we're only a couple weeks away from actually releasing this in the Android market. So we have a, a bunch of exciting features uh, that we think uh, your readers will like. Uh, we have a whole bunch of customers that download our free applications to the Android market. Um, so just to kind of start, uh, with Documents to Go, we have a free version that lets you view Microsoft Word and Excel files. Mm -hmm. uh, with the next version of Documents to Go, uh, we're going to add support uh, into our free version for viewing PowerPoint as well. It's 3.0? Yeah, it'll be 3.0. So uh, all existing, there's about 750,000 customers of ours that have downloaded the free version, uh, so they're going to get some additional functionality. And then. Uh, we're also rolling in some new features to our paid application. Gotcha. Uh, so when you upgrade to the full version, uh, you unlock editing, you unlock uh, Adobe uh, PDF support. Uh, we're enhancing our PDF support with features like uh, pitch to zoom, multi-touch. Uh, we're adding the ability to now synchronize your files from your desktop computer over USB to your device. Mm -hmm. Which is what we're doing here. Which is what we'll, we'll kind of give you a demo, show you how that works. Because uh, it kind of really changes the way that you use documents to go. You can now take more files with you. You're might more likely to edit them rather than creating new documents uh, directly on your device. Gotcha. So, so let's run see. through the new, uh, the new UI and, uh, and some of those features. So in here, uh, this is kind of, you can set it up to sync with a home computer and a work computer, mm -hmm. and it's syncing over USB. So I've uh, just got it set up to sync a, a couple different folders that are sitting on my desktop. So as I prepare for the show, I just kind of threw everything I had into this Google I.O. folder. And had all my hotel confirmations, flight invitations, so registrations. And as I came through the last couple of weeks, I kind of just made documents out of it. Um, and then I think I should have an expense report in here. So we'll go ahead and open up this expense report. And uh, it's the same thing that you see down here, mm -hmm. uh, just a little bit prettier in Excel with all the, all the different formatting. But since you can edit in our full version, you know, 780 would probably be a pretty ridiculous value to have for a dinner or for a travel expense, maybe. Maybe not so much. Let's say I just want to delete that. And uh, it's $1,500 for meals. Say so it's only, we had $150 dinner last night. So you can actually make those quick calculations when you're on the go, uh -huh. add your latest receipts to your expense report, and then when you save that file, what you can now do is you, you just mount your device as a drive, we'll close the document so you can see, it'll show up as connected in our new desktop application. Mm -hmm. When you hit synchronize, it'll take only a couple seconds, and that file is now synchronized back to your computer in its original location. So this is that folder I was talking about. And now all those changes have been reflected in your document. So cool. it's true round tripping, all the formatting, all the layout's going to remain intact, which is kind of a key uh, bonus of, of documents to get really why we stand out above the crowd, because you don't have to reformat documents just because you're making edits on your mobile device. Gotcha. Gotcha. So uh, that's kind of a made, made new feature. It really helps you when you're traveling on the road. You just sync some folders, and then you end up with files that someone might ask for when you're at the airport. When you have it with you, you can send it off as an attachment. And then just get back to the... Uh, to the device to kind of show some of the other features just uh, from what people are, are looking for. Uh, we've done a couple of things from an end user standpoint. I know you, you, we've seen it in your reviews and in comments where people are like, why don't they do this and that? So right. some of the really nitty gritty stuff is uh, we'll now add an option so if you do buy our premium version, mm -hmm. you don't have two separate application icons any longer. That's I know good. it's small, but no, people no, no, are annoyed that, by that. Yeah, so. Yeah. so we do have a preference and probably by default we'll, just, uh, we'll now remove that so uh, you, you won't need that. So that's kind of a small thing. The other thing a lot of customers ask for is just to be able to uh, manage your files a little bit more in document scale, like how do you delete files and mm -hmm. clean off your SD card. Well, you can now go in here, do a selection mode, check off the ones that you want to delete, and then use this new tool toolbar to sort, filter, delete, send your files right from our application so you can cool. manage it. So uh, we're pretty excited about some of the new features that, uh, that are coming in 3.0. It's only a couple weeks away. So, Excellent. Look forward to it. All right.